What is up, Dynasty Surge? I don't even know what version of the Surge this is because they've been going on forever, which is amazing. All of this content. Man, if I was a new coach having this three weeks of brand new, one of a kind content, I would be eating it up and soaking in everything I possibly could. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, sorry, I just got distracted. I will wait three minutes because I know I'm a little bit early and there's a ton of people in this group that I know want to be on this, but I also know that it's Friday <laughs> um, and people's minds are sort of in the weekend mode. So I'm going to wait a couple minutes, three or so minutes for some people to hop on. Let me know if you're here. Hey Alyssa, hey Nicole, what's up girls? Um, it is like a stunningly gorgeous day in Florida today and I had everything set up inside and then I was like, it is a crime for me to not be outside in the sun today. So I wanted to actually start with a little history about Facebook Live because I don't think a lot of people know the rhyme and reason why Facebook changes things so much, why we're moving to live, and that it's going to change again. Um, so basically, in the social media space, there are always new outlets, right? There was Periscope, Twitter, Snapchat, all of the things that don't exist anymore. And basically, there's kind of this theory, I was reading an article the other day, there's kind of a theory that anything that the teens are really interested in is going to be the next big thing. So essentially, we went from a very text-based social media. So Twitter used to be the biggest thing, right? It used to be all the celebrities were on there. Everything got tweeted out. Everything got reshared. Um, if you guys remember back in the day, MySpace used to be the thing. Um, so that used to be kind of like profiles with pictures and you could add music to your profile and then that kind of faded. So it's always good to keep in mind that the beast of social media is always changing. And since we are network marketing, yes, but we are internet marketers, right? We use the social media space to market our brands, our businesses, and that's our biggest tool. Luckily, all of these spaces are free. We don't have to do traditional marketing like a regular business would. We don't have to buy billboards or commercials or um, ads for TV, any of that kind of stuff we don't need to do. And the tides of you know, where things are moving with social media are always going to be changing. So we will always have to be um, remastering the way we work things, re-looking at the way we uh, market things, what we need to be paying attention to. So it's a really good thing that we read personal development and we're constantly challenging our comfort zones because if we think about it, you know, once we get used to live video and once we get used to these changes, then another set of changes will come. Basically, what Facebook tries to do is stay the mainstay social media. They know that it's always changing. You know, once MySpace was king, once Twitter was king, now Facebook is king. So Facebook is very smart in a different way than Twitter and MySpace was. They constantly are changing and evolving. And part of that evolution is this new kind of societal change, which came from the teens, of Snapchat, right? Snapchat is kind of the way that society is moving. No one wants to sit there and read something anymore. It's all short, real-time videos. Real-time is the key. So basically, what Facebook tries to do is change the way they present things in order to stay relevant, right? Because we all want to stay relevant. They're trying to remain king in the social media space. So. If we think about this from a CEO perspective for using Facebook and social media, and we think about this information in a way that can really push our business forward instead of getting hindered by it, and instead of thinking, man, I have to learn a new thing, I have to evolve, this is a good thing to be aware of these changes, to be aware of the whys behind it, and to be aware of where you need to be focusing your attention. So because Facebook is trying to move towards the YouTube, Snapchat, real-time video thing, they are pushing out live video the most. 
This happens to work really well with what we do as coaches. But I always love to start with some stats, some whys behind it, some really concrete CEO type information. Because if you're going to run a business, especially a business that's going to grow to five figures, six figures, seven figures, whatever, you always need to be thinking of it in the mindset of a business owner, not just I signed up for this MLM and I do this workout and I help other people drink this shake, right? We need to constantly be evolving along with what we utilize every single day to promote our business, which happens to be internet marketing. Um, I looked before I got on this call, there are 1.59 billion, let me just check, let me just check this really quick. 1.59 billion users on Facebook. This is from Forbes.com. I got this today. 1.59 billion users on Facebook. Anyone who thinks that the market is saturated, that, that there are no more customers to be had in Beachbody, that they have reached everyone that they can reach, is literally so sadly mistaken and so wrong. But I digress. 1.59 billion users on Facebook. Now that's a big number. Obviously, there are not 1.59 billion people who are in your target market, right? So we have to whittle those numbers down a little bit. However, because we're in a different company space, Facebook, they dictate what gets pushed out further, right? Right now, Facebook Live is where it's at. To stay up to date with these things, it's a really, really good idea for you guys to simply Google, you know, changes with Facebook, what's happening with YouTube, what's happening with Instagram, to really keep up with what they're showing the most attention to and what they want you to be doing. Because we're operating in another company space, this shouldn't be something that's stressful, it shouldn't be something that hinders you, it should just simply be something that you're thinking about as a business owner. Now. We're extremely lucky because our business thrives on real-time conversations, right? If we could, we would talk to all our customers and coaches in person, face-to-face. -face. There is something about someone hearing you speak, someone seeing your mannerisms, someone seeing what you're doing when you're speaking to them. There's something different about that that speaks to people versus them seeing a post from you, them getting a message from you with words. It's connection, it's human, we're in the people business, right? So this is actually amazing for our business that this is what Facebook is pushing out first. Now, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for your business moving forward? A, you have to be up on what's going on with social media. That's just the end all and be all. Don't make it a stressful thing, just every once in a while, try to see, you know, what you're being shown more, what Google, what, what is happening in that space, just to stay up to snuff on what's going on. Secondarily, because we know human communication, seeing your personality works more, you need to integrate that more into your business every day. So on Shalene Johnson's National Wake Up Call, I think it was two weeks ago or a week ago, she gave everyone a challenge of going live three times a week. I am going to say that it's probably worth going live every other day on your Facebook page if you want your business to move forward, grow your followers, stretch out of that warm market, regardless of, oh my God, I just saw a spider and I'm going to die. Okay, I'm alive. <laughs> um, if you want your business, oh, my dog came to my rescue. <laughs> see, this is what's so great about Facebook Live. You get to see people in their element. That really distracted me. I do have an example about why that's good. Um, oh God, is it dead? Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, this is the perfect example why Facebook Live is so crucial to your business. People want to see you in their element. No one responds anymore to old school marketing, right? Because there's been this shift in society. There's been this shift from old school marketing where we had airbrush models, size zero models, Victoria's Secret type, 
right? And then there was all of a sudden this revolution to, we wanna see normal people, we've had companies refusing to airbrush their ads, we've had celebrities refusing to be airbrushed, we've had um, a really big shift in this perfect sort of model of who we want to follow and who we want to be marketed from to now this very realistic in-home um, you can do it too type marketing this new school marketing that works really really extremely well for beach body coaching because as you guys know the reason this works is not because we have all the answers is not because we're the fittest is not because we have perfect bodies and eat perfectly well all the time but because we're real authentic people who are making this work and teaching other people how to make it work as well this new school shift in marketing is everything why Beachbody coaching will never go anywhere. It's everything why right now, if you're not taking advantage of that shift, why you would be stagnant or seeing kind of a dip in your business. If you are willing to evolve and move forward to this, then that's when you will really see it flourish and grow and your following will grow. Let me give you two examples. So I don't know if you guys follow Shaleen, what I was talking about that national wake up call. Um, she talked about the difference between the original Pio infomercial, which was very airbrushed in a studio, they weren't wearing workout clothes, she was all dolled up, she was in five inch heels, versus this new idea that they came up with, where literally the entire infomercial, the official Pio infomercial, is filmed inside her house, with her dog, with her husband, on her iPhone. It's literally on her iPhone in her home, which, is so incredible to me because that just really showcases the shift in what works now versus what used to work, which should give you a sigh of relief, which should give you empowerment, which should give you the, the gusto to go after your business and knowing that you don't have to be perfect, you don't have to have a perfect body, you don't have to have a marketing team, you don't have to be airbrushed, you don't have to be a certain size. People relate to who you are as a person and what you do every single day. Um, recently, Enrique Iglesias, who used to be really famous when I was younger but then kind of disappeared for a while, he released a new single. And he promoted his new single on Facebook Live. And it was him sitting in his home with his dog talking about his new single about to come out. Um, and I mean, this guy hasn't done anything in, I don't know, I think I was in like grade school when he was a big thing. So it's been years, he's not relevant anymore. A lot of the people on Facebook right now don't even remember Enrique Iglesias. His new single beat any record of any other song that had ever been released before because of the way he promoted it. There weren't fancy ads, there weren't radio things, there wasn't a uh, music video release. He literally did a Facebook Live video and there were seven million views of this live video of him sitting in a t-shirt and jeans inside his living room on his floor with his dog next to him. Now, if you think about that and you think about the general objections of a Beachbody coach and maybe you watching this live video have had this, you're like, I'm not successful enough, I'm not perfect enough, I don't have the perfect pictures, I don't take the perfect selfies, I could never have the same results that Bonnie does because she has this huge following and she has all of these fancy things now. And I have news for you. Actually, those fancy, perfect airbrush things work against you. This is what's happening. So right there, I abolish any kind of excuse for a new coach coming in, for a coach who's kind of stuck or stagnant, who's having those objections toward the business, because right now, realistically, the era that we live in, this new school marketing, that just doesn't work anymore. So older coaches who do have shiny success are having to bring it back down to live video, who you are, what your personality is. When a spider falls down when you're making a live video, really getting to know that personality and connecting. So, and additionally, that 1.59 billion users should have really given you a jolt to combat that objection. So, how do we take this information the switches in, in social media and staying current on that and um, really looking at those examples of the Pio infomercial and the Enrique Iglesias thing and really taking that and putting that into our own business. There's a couple different ways. First of all, you need to realize that relatable is always better than perfect. 
real life always carries more weight than airbrush right and we always need to remember that if you're someone who gets stuck behind that if you get stuck behind I can't post this picture it's not perfect I can't go live because I don't know what to say then you need to write that down have it be your mantra post it in your office in your bedroom wherever you see it multiple times a day repeat it when you wake up repeat it when you go to bed there is no success in this business that will come without being outside of your comfort zone and I can guarantee you that um, so I'm going to challenge you all to get out of your comfort zone. First, if you're thinking that, write that down, have that be a mantra. Secondly, to take the first step, instead of writing messages, use the voice messenger thing. Have people be able to hear your voice. Have people be able to hear the inflection, to hear that you care, to hear that you're a real person, to hear that you have struggles too, to hear that you're excited, to hear that you're sad. You know, people want that real time short connection, right? Secondly, I wanna challenge you, and I said this earlier before I got distracted by the spider, I wanna challenge you to go live every other day for two weeks. Now, I want you to actually keep track of things for this two weeks. Now this could be um, a live video of your workout. It could be a live video of your dog jumping into the pool. It could be a live video of you talking like this about something that you've learned that week, maybe about the containers, maybe about um, a success story in your challenge group. Maybe you're highlighting someone. Think about the regular things that you post about, you know, that regular idea on social media of three to five times per day taking one of those things every other day out of those three to five and turning it into a live video. You know, I always say, talk your posts out loud before you would say them so that you sound like you. A step better is actually live videoing it. So if you are super excited about a challenger's results or maybe a coach's accomplishment, go live and talk about that. Talk about what it makes you feel. Talk about where that coach comes from. Really starting to let your followers know who you are and what you do. Now, the benefits of this are twofold, right? It works because it works for our business, but it also works because Facebook is pushing it out so much more than other content. So what does that mean for you? It means more of that 1.5 billion 1.59 billion users will see your content. It means that you will more organically grow your following versus I have to friend request all these people all day. You have to make sure a couple of things first before you do this in order for that to work. Um, number one, make sure your profile is public. Make sure your profile picture is clear and of you. And these are really surface level things, level one stuff. However, I have seen a couple coaches who kind of get confused when it comes to that. If your profile is not public, then the live video thing doesn't really work as well for you and it doesn't have as much reach. So make sure you do those things before you do that. But if you are going to commit to this challenge, if you really want your business to move forward, if you really want to treat it like a CEO and have your customers and future coaches actually be more in line with your vision, you have to let them know your personality, how you speak, what your energy is like. You have to put out there what you want to receive, right? Because we all want coaches who are just like us. <laughs> so you have to showcase what you are wanting to attract. If you want to grow your business to full time, if you want to hit Success Club every single month, I challenge you for the next two weeks, every other day, replace one of those three to five times a day posts with a live video. You don't have to look perfect, you don't have to be perfect, you don't have to say the right thing, but you do have to jump at some point. Over the course of this two weeks, I want you guys to notice, are your likes up? Are your comments up? Is your traction up? Are your, um, are your followers up? Are your friend requests up? And really track, okay, is this working? Is this not working? Um, the second thing about live video, um, the more comments and the more hearts and um, I, I think they call them inner impressions, impressions you get on your video, the more Facebook will push it out. So that's why you see a ton of coaches jumping on their live video and saying, um, where are you guys from? Let me know if you're watching. Where are you watching from? Because this is getting people to comment. It's very easy to comment. I'm from Florida. I'm from California. What that does is it says, oh, people are loving this video because it's all automated, right? So Facebook 
automatically says there's been five comments in two minutes. I'm gonna push this out to more people. More people get notifications that you are going live. More people are watching you. Now, the last thing I wanna address is fear. There's always this fear when I talk to people about live video, about, you know, I'm not as articulate as I wanna be. I often ramble, I say the wrong things. And here's what I have to say to that. I cannot tell you how many times I said the wrong things, I rambled on team calls, sent, the, sent a terrible message to a new coach prospect, said the wrong thing in a training group, said the wrong thing on a YouTube video, but you'll never learn if you don't try. The only thing you're guaranteeing by not stepping out of the box and getting used to these things and getting used to doing a live video and talking is that you'll stay in the same spot. And I can guarantee you that. The only thing that you're guaranteeing by not doing it is that you're going to stay stuck. If you do get outside of your comfort zone and you do reach out and do these things, the only thing that I can guarantee is, yeah, you might fail. I'm not gonna sit here and say that everything's gonna be a success, but you do open the window up for moving forward, right? And the worst thing that can happen, if you have a not so good live video, you say, you know what, I'm human, and people relate to you more. So that is what I have to say about live video. If you guys have a question, a comment, something that you're feeling, more importantly, if you are going to commit to the challenge, especially if you're going to Punta Cana, um, that's really an attractive thing to talk about with your followers, um, to build your team, to build challengers. It's a very exciting perk that we get as Beachbody coaches. If you guys commit to doing that for two weeks every other day, I can guarantee your business will move forward and I can guarantee all of your followings will go up, your likes, your comments, your everything will see a surge. Um, if you guys are going to commit, to that challenge, I would love for you to comment below and say I'm committing so that we're locked in because a commitment without saying it out loud or typing it somewhere or having someone else see it usually falls flat. So thank you guys so much for taking the time on a Friday to watch this and to be here. Um, and these groups are just so amazing. If you guys are not soaking this in and taking a ton of notes and taking a ton of knowledge with you, then um, I don't even know what else to say, right? <laughs> but happy weekend, happy Easter to you and your family, and I will talk to you all soon.